Welcome back guys to another video. Before we dive any deeper, definitely check out the exclusive private Discord server in the description below. Definitely check out stock picks before I make videos on them. And also my favorite stocks on a daily basis, options. There's several different trades from our fellow admins. And plus it's a free trial going on. If you guys don't like it, just simply cancel it before the first of each month and you don't have to pay a single penny. I mean, it's free right now. Why not just check it out? So let's look at TGB. This is Tseco Mines. If you go up and also to the right hand corner of the screen, there is the ticker TGB Tseco Mines. Now keep in mind that if you type in TGB on TD Ameritrade or Webull, it gets a little bit weird. So I highly recommend if it doesn't pop up for you, just type in like the full name of the company. If you just type in Tseco, T-A-S-E-K-O, it will pop up with a ticker and you can start working from there. But currently, this stock is doing really well. This is a mining stock. And before you click away thinking, okay, this is just another rock stock, this is a copper mining stock. Now, if you guys are still not convinced how good of a stock this is, just keep in mind that copper is in electric vehicles and copper prices are at an eight year all time high. Hopefully that perked your ears up because everyone is so focused on nickel. Everyone is so focused on lithium. Everyone is kind of just neglecting copper. If you check out the volume for Tseco Mines, this is one of the biggest copper mining operation companies in the world. Volume recently has been increasing. If you look at back in 2020, volume was roughly half a million. Now the volume is slow and consistent at three to five million on a daily basis. And what's really interesting about Tseco Mines is the stock itself is actually very stable. Unlike other penny stocks that have really wild charts of massive increases and massive decreases, Tseco Mines is actually pretty tame. The stock price did go to peak price of dollar and 32 cents. It did drop down to 84 cents and consolidate at the price before going back up again. You clearly see the technical analysis on Tseco Mines is pretty simple. A big surge, you got like a rest period where the share prices do plummet a little bit, increase, plummet, increase, plummet, and now it's going back up again and slowly consolidating at around $1.78. We could be seeing a major breakout if volume goes up and also could be seeing a major breakout if a lot of retail traders and institutions get a whiff of this good stock. So TGB is big because Tseco Mines is a really big growing mining company. I mean, they're growing at a rapid pace, major operations here in North America. They're headquartered in Vancouver. They're currently operating the second largest copper mine in Canada, the Gibraltar mine. And there's nearly 700 people working on that mine, producing roughly 140 million pounds of copper on a yearly basis. That is pretty big. If you look at the Gibraltar mine, Tseco only owns 75%. That's still a lot, even though it's not 100%, but still though, keep in mind, 140 million pounds of copper every single year coming from the Gibraltar mine is looking very good, especially how right now in North America and around the world, copper is in a massive demand because of batteries, electric vehicles. If you guys don't know, copper is really special and really much needed in the wiring process of batteries, EVs, and et cetera. If you look at those charging companies like Blink Charging, ChargePoint, you can see they have these massive chargers. They require a ton of copper for that to work. And you also have the second mine. This is the Florence Copper Mine. This is a pretty interesting one because it will be extremely green. It's currently not mining at all because they just recently got it. It's currently in the development phase. It's trying to get its permit with the EPA. All the major transportation, road, and rail infrastructure are already there. And once complete, the Florence Copper Mine will be the greenest sources of copper here in the United States. And we all know that the Biden administration is pushing pretty heavily on green energy. So obviously, with the Florence Copper Mine being a lot more environmental friendly, working pretty closely with the EPA, we could be seeing the Florence Mine prospering really well. Okay, let's talk about how much copper the Florence Mine can produce. The Florence Copper Mine should be producing roughly 85 million pounds of copper per year. Now, this is a little bit lower than a Gibraltar mine of 140 million, but just keep in mind, 85 million plus 140 million is over 200 million pounds of copper on an annual basis. And I just want to talk about how copper prices have been soaring rapidly. It's approaching this massive frenzy. It's a new eight-year high and the supplies are getting really worrying. That's because so many companies are going to charging, batteries, and also the EV car department. It's pretty special. If you guys don't know, electric vehicles use up a ton of copper. 
And conventional cars use roughly 18 to 49 pounds of copper. Hybrid electric vehicles have roughly 85. Plug-in hybrid, 132. If you check out just battery electric vehicles, 183 pounds. And if you check out electric buses, we all know that there's a lot of companies right now making electric buses. Biden is pushing very heavily for EVs and also electric buses. In my city, we already have a few electric buses and they're actually pretty good. It doesn't smell bad and it's actually really quiet. It's very, very nice. But electric battery buses contain 814 pounds of copper. And that's way more than traditional 18 to 49 pounds of coppers for a regular gasoline vehicle. So if you do some math, you will definitely be stunned. When something takes like 20 times more than a certain object, they should know that the materials to make that specific car or item will definitely go up. Obviously, because so many companies are going EV, electric buses are extremely popular. You need a ton of copper for that. And because Biden is pushing so heavily for greener transportation, obviously you should be having a much higher copper price. Thus, they're surging to a new eight-year high. Supplies are getting kind of worrying. And we all know what happens when a bunch of people want something and there's not enough of it, you could charge a much higher price. And because Tesco Mines actually own some of the biggest mining operations here in North America, and also they're pretty world-class in copper mining around the globe, they have this major edge in the green energy sector. Remember, everyone is so obsessed with the lithium mines, the nickel mines, but keep in fact that the copper mines are just as important. Copper is needed more than ever before for the electrical wiring processes of buses and also EVs. It's like this big commodity. I mean, it just keeps soaring and soaring. People are getting pretty bearish. There's articles coming out saying how even though copper is already at an all-time high, prices could definitely keep soaring once major companies like Blink Charging, ChargePoint, you got the bus companies out there, start actually producing EV boxes, batteries, and also buses. When that happens, there'll be an even bigger shortage of copper. Right now, it's on paper. The shortage of copper isn't that bad, but just wait when a bunch of companies like Ford General Motors start making electric vehicles, they'll be needing a ton of copper. Copper shortage is rising. I mean, for some reason, everything in the world is being in a major shortage, like lithium, nickel, copper, platinum. You got like the major chip shortage going on. It's pretty wild here. A lot of these major metals are going up and what better way to make money from the shortage than to invest in the mines themselves, the actual areas where the copper comes from. That's where most investors aren't really looking at and this is why a lot of investors should definitely look at mining stocks. They're not as exciting and they're not really long-term plays. They're more like medium-term plays maybe hold it for the next few months or maybe the couple years at most. That's what I like to play. Before you leave, definitely check out the description below. There's a Coinbase link, click on it, make an account, deposit some money, and get up to $250 worth of cryptocurrency. I mean, it's literally free Bitcoin that they're giving you. It's free money. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.